Hey, Rapper Jake here today. I am joined by Emily from Eats and Speaks. How's it going, Emily? Great. Okay, great. So uh, for those that are not familiar with you, tell me a little bit about Eats and Speaks. So we provide integrative uh, services here in Byron, Illinois, specifically in the areas of speech, language, feeding, and myofunctional therapy. Gotcha. So uh, for those like myself that know very little about therapy, <laughs> what, does that, what does that all mean? <laughs> yeah, so our primar primarily we are working currently with the pediatric population. So anywhere from infants um, having difficulty feeding all the way up to, you know, most of our kids are, uh, our oldest kids are in their teens. And so in a nutshell, we're looking at a child or a teenager's ability to speak clearly, use words to communicate or understand words. Um, we're looking at feeding. Are we, um, you know, are we able to take a bottle or have a successful nursing experience, or are we just struggling to get a wide variety of foods into our diet every single day? Sure. Um, and then we also provide myofunctional therapy, which just basically looks at all of those areas kind of in a deeper way mm -hmm. and how we can support the oral mechanism for speech feeding and breathing. Um, and then we also do pre and post operative care for kiddos who need um, tongue or lip tie releases with a dentist. Gotcha. And so one thing that really sets you guys apart is that you understand that this is a piece of the health puzzle, but it's not the whole puzzle. Right. Yeah. And I think, um, we understand that we provide a really awesome service here, but we also understand that we need other people <laughs> um, and other um, professionals to kind of support the whole child so that we can get the best outcome. Nice. And now you guys just had a big announcement because you hired, a, like you expanded your team. like Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we just hired three full-time therapists. Um, we've had some therapists doing some work here here and there on the side, but recently just hired three full-time therapists. So they're kind of getting in and training, um, going through lots of training right now to be prepared. And um, we currently have lots of openings. We do not have a wait list right now. So um, that's something we're really excited about because many times when parents call a place for therapy, they're often put on a wait list and we don't have to say that anymore. Yeah. The one thing in our little pre-recording chat that you had mentioned was uh, how most children only have access to therapy, like either in a school or in a hospital. And it's really hard to find services outside of those two environments. Yeah. And I think um, that's just been common since I've started as a speech therapist. I've been practicing for about 10 years. And um, if a parent did want extra services outside of school, it was really hard to find someone that they could utilize maybe in the summer or for extra support um, to just help their development even quicker. And so um, we're excited to be able to help fill that gap as much as we possibly can. So Nice. And to kind of tie the last two points together, uh, you are still growing your team and you're looking to kind of expand, uh, I guess, the size of your puzzle piece, right? And take, be able to take a more holistic approach. Yeah. So um, we currently have three full-time therapists um, and then myself as well. Um, and those are all speech therapists, so people who have had their master's degree in speech language pathology. And like I mentioned earlier, we understand that we have a really important job and we feel like we can make great progress, but a lot of times it includes a multidisciplinary team. And so we're really excited um, in the near future to hopefully be expanding that to offer other disciplines to support kiddos in our area, um, whether that be with occupational therapy or speech or um, physical therapy, um, cranial sacral therapy. Um, a lot of body work goes into the myofunctional piece yeah. that we do. Um, and we understand that we can make a bigger impact for our kiddos when we work with others who see things from a different lens. Very cool. And last but not least, for those that are out there watching that are interested in learning more about what you do, uh, whether they have a child, teenager of their own, or they know somebody who has, you know, knows somebody, uh, that needs help in these different areas. Like, where do they go to learn more information and get a hold of you? Yeah, so you can always give us a call. Um, we're open during the day, during the week, but one of our best resources is probably our website. Um, you can flip around there to get a feel for what things are like, but then you can also um, 
we have a patient inquiry form that you can complete there. And then that will um, give us a little bit of information about you. And then we can connect with you to find out what would be the next step for your family. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Emily, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I uh, just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. We're able to highlight local businesses and wonderful people here like Emily and bring you all this Rockford positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And we'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.